think most important we need to understand what is going on in other parts of the world because various elements of RRI are being practiced but in different ways they are not called the same so in order to go global it's important to understand what is going on and how other people are using engagement methodologies and co-construction of knowledge so once we understand what is going on then we can have a dialogue with them about what Europe is doing some elements of it will be more readily usable for example issues of open access uh, issue of public engagement because to some extent these models are also happening in countries like India, Brazil, South Africa, Uganda and we can learn how they are using open access, how they are using public engagement and then we can give them examples of how it is being used in Europe. So as a package it need not be globalized because elements of it need to be shared more widely but the packaging may vary country to country or region to region. Essentially community based research helps to address solutions to local problems. It starts by valuing local knowledge and then brings additional expertise to jointly study the problem and explore possible solutions. So whether it is a question of water harvesting, question of uh, prevention of violence against women, local livelihood in agriculture, primary health care issues, a variety of issues on which uh, community-based research methodology is being used. Uh, parts of uh, Latin America, parts of Asia, um, they are very commonly used. The conversation about science and society that has been going on in Europe for nearly two decades, that has not yet taken place in many Asian countries. Science is seen as separate from society and science is governed by scientists alone. So it is opaque, decision making is not known to public at large, even political leaders and parliamentarians don't participate in that debate. So I think the most important starting point is to have discussions on relation between science and society and use that debate then to create mechanisms by which public information and science communication can take place. In Asia we don't have science communication centers as you have in Europe uh, as I have been learning for the last two days. So if we have science communication mechanisms then that process can be two-way between citizens and science and science establishment and right now there is no conversation between citizens on the one hand and scientific establishment on the other.